My name is Carla Kersnow, and I work at the Institute of Anthropology and Mines. Here at the Institute, we research the prehistory of humans and domestic animals. We use DNA from ancient bones and teeth to reconstruct prehistory. This ancient DNA is very rare and very fragile, and it has to be analyzed in dedicated facilities like the one you see here. Let me guide you through it. I have some very old bones here that we plan to analyze. The problem with old bones is that they contain very few ancient DNA molecules, and they can become easily overwhelmed by modern DNA contaminants from the environment. We follow a very particular procedure to make sure that the samples, the rooms, and the people get cleaner with every step. This is the room where samples are photographed and documented. We try to select long bones or the roots of teeth for sampling. After the surface is removed, the bone is subsampled. We then put the remaining sample in a UV light box. We mill and pulverize the bone or tooth sample to make the DNA inside more accessible. Now we're in the heart of the lab, where the DNA is extracted from the sample. Nobody is allowed to move around while somebody is working in here. We try to avoid producing any turbulence. We actually turn off the air circulation while the pipetting is being done. We extract the fumes after the work is done and the reaction tubes are closed. As I said before, DNA in bones is preserved in very small quantities. Here we set up PCRs, a reaction to amplify the very few remaining molecules, and create DNA libraries. This is the inner sanctum, separated by two doors, very clean. Cleaning is the most important part of working in an ancient DNA laboratory. We even have a waterproof UV bulb to irradiate our cleaning water. We have two rooms dedicated to cleaning our utensils, like racks and bottles. The work goes on even after the researchers leave for the night as computer programs continue to analyze the sequence data.
we use highly parallel DNA sequencing methods to read the code of the ancient DNA. After the DNA sequencing is complete, the computational work begins, and it lasts as least as long as the laboratory work. Here we translate the ancient DNA code into information about the genetic relationships between the prehistoric populations. We want to know about the peoples of the past, who they were, where they came from, where they migrated to, what diseases they had, and their relationships to the peoples of today. Thank you.